up you guys? Welcome back to the Snake Eater Company. I am Jesse aka Snake Eater and on this channel we have gone over a couple of different desk mounting solutions for your flight sticks and bases and throttles. Today we've got maybe the Mercedes of all of those choices. This is the Monster Tech table mount. So you've just gotten an awesome base and grip maybe a throttle for your flight sims and your space sims. You definitely, definitely want to take a look at mounting your flight stick and throttle properly to get the most out of it. Monster Tech is a sim pit outfitter coming out of Germany that is arguably the most premium sim pit outfitter out there. They do far more than just table mounts, which is what we're talking about today. They do chair mounts, they do entirely custom built sim pit rigs that hold everything from your monitor to a chair to steering wheels. They cover everything from space sims to flight sims to driving sims. I definitely recommend you go check out Monster Tech's website and see what kind of stuff they have to offer you. After chatting a little bit with Olsen over at Monster Tech, we came up with what would work the best for my particular sim pit, which is basically a suite of table mounts. Let's start where we always start, the price. There are several different factors, even within the subcategory of table mount, that affect the price of a Monster Tech mount. Because the price can vary so much from product to product, depending on the customization you choose, I'm just gonna tell you the prices that the products that I have to show you today are, but if you want something a little bit different than what I've got, definitely go check out for yourself what that'll cost you on their website. I've got two of these long table mounts in black with the Verpal MT50 hanger attachment to allow me to put my MT50 Verpal bases onto this thing. That goes for $152 US. I've got a short version of this with the throttle mounting plate that's just for my throttle. Also in black, that goes for $124. I have a table mount that is for the keyboard and it's in black. That goes for $135, including the keyboard plate. Gone are the days of reaching for my mouse with the mouse pad extension. The mouse is right next to my hand at all times. That goes for 76 bucks. And they also have ways of managing the cables really well. They've got these clips that go right into the extrusion slots and you can route cabling really slickly through your entire Monster Tech mount and then up onto your desk. Olsen sent me a couple of the MFD slash accessory mounting panels. Those are 45 bucks a piece. The MFD mount is awesome for anything from a tablet to the Thrustmaster MFD button frame to Elgato Stream Decks. He sent me definitely the best hex wrench set I've ever owned. So if you don't already have one, I highly recommend you just include that in your next order from Monster Tech. That thing goes for $25 US. And maybe the most important accessory that he included is this guy right here. Boom. Cup holder. You gotta stay hydrated when you're out there gaming. You know what I mean? This thing goes for 10 bucks. Something that's also a factor in the price, because Monster Tech is in Germany, the cost of shipping can bump up your overall price quite a bit. Obviously that's gonna change completely depending on where you're getting it shipped to, so I can't really tell you what that cost will be, but that's one of the things that tends to put it uh, well above what you're gonna pay from other outfitters depending on where you live and where you're shipping the product to. There's no doubt that you pay more for Monster Tech gear than you will from some of the competitors offering desk mounts. There's also now no question in my mind that you get all of the premium quality that you're hoping to from that price point. There's a ton of polish in these products. They feel custom built for whatever purpose you're buying them for. They are really slick, really functional. It just 
is the difference between good and great when it comes to a product. Let's talk about compatibility real quick. When you go to order a table mount from Monster Tech, you're also going to put in which stick and or throttle that you want to use with it. And they have custom made mounting plates or mounting solutions for, as far as I can tell, every possible stick make, throttle make that you have out there. Even older models of sticks and throttles that aren't even made anymore, they will cater to. Compatibility also happens on the other side of the mount, meaning your desk. Something that you'll run into with a couple of the brands of desk mounts, or if you're building one yourself, is there's a maximum thickness of the desk that you can mount the table mount to. What's awesome about the way that Monster Tech has put their mount together is that you can move this piece up and down, and there's really no maximum tape. I mean, this is, you could be like, you know, one foot thick table if such a thing existed and this would probably still work on it. This clamp could just be slid down all the way to the point that you need for your table. Build quality. Build quality is an area where Monster Tech pulls away from the pack. Monster Tech has spent a lot of time and effort refining their product from the core technology of extrusion bars to all the custom pieces they make specifically for their products. Things like the plates for your specific stick or throttle and all the little accessories that you can get for them if you want them. Everything that they make is impeccably refined. The edges are perfect. The black paint is perfect. It's really clear that they care a lot about these products and want you to feel like it's the best that you can find. Everything is in a Monster Tech box. All of the subcomponents are carefully placed in a padded baggie. All of the really tiny bolts and small metal pieces are in little individual Ziploc baggies. You really feel like you've purchased a premium product right from opening up the box. The format is a straight drop. A lot of mounts are moving toward an angled design, pushing you out further from the desk. The idea is to give you more room to stir the pot, so to speak, but one of the disadvantages I've found of that design choice is that it pushes you further away from the monitor, which is not ideal. Despite having a straight drop design, I have not found any issues keeping the stick or my knuckles from coming into contact with any other parts of my sim pit. Another very important quality to a table mount is stability. Any wobble or wiggle in the mount is going to translate to less control while you're flying. The longer the mount gets, the worse the wobble gets, and it's going to be noticeable depending on the length of the extension that you've got, how stiff the springs in your stick base are, and it's always bothered me when I can see the mount moving, know that it's affecting the detail I'm trying to put into the stick. The Monster Tech mount is flat out the most stable platform I've ever flown with. I cannot get it to move once I've grafted it down onto the desk. It's not going anywhere. Pro tip, by the way, a big part of the stability equation is also your desk. If your desk has wobble in it, a desk mount won't help with that. My desk of choice is called the Gladiator. It is very affordable compared to a lot of desks out there. It's extremely sturdy. It's built to be a workbench, but it's got the refinement of a computer desk, and it comes in four, six, and eight foot sections. I'll throw a link to that in the description. I wanna throw in a couple things about the extrusion technology, which is the core of these mounts. You can buy extrusion bars like this, the main piece from outfitters that just sell extrusion bars for all kinds of industrial purposes. You can custom make your own stuff using extrusion materials. For a long time, I thought that I could just do this myself. I wouldn't need a company like Monster Tech. Um, I would just buy all these parts and pieces online and put them together myself, and that would result in a much less expensive option. After pricing out that path several times, I came to the conclusion that it's not actually uh, less expensive to go that route. If you do have an inexpensive way to get extrusion bars and you'd want to build one out yourself, you can still order just the custom mounting plate from Monster Tech. If all you want is to swap out a 
MT50 mounting hanger for a Thrustmaster mounting base or a VKB mounting plate. Um, they offer that individually as well. So if you think you can build it all yourself for less, go for it. Monster Tech can still cover you when it comes to the accessories you need for that stuff, especially the custom made ones that they make themselves. Mounts tend to be just like sticks, bases, rudder, pedals, all these things that come from different manufacturers are a pretty high quality in and of themselves. They just have different strengths and weaknesses. Monster Tech is your premium choice. Its weakness is that it's one of the most expensive options you can get on the market today. Its strengths are everywhere else. Its level of refinement, its finish, its fit, and how customizable it is. This is also just talking about desk mounts, by the way. Not all manufacturers of desk mounts or table mounts offer chair mounts, entirely custom built sim pits. So keep that in mind if you are looking for some of those things or you're looking to build out in that direction. Okay, final thoughts. I've been lucky enough to use several very good products when it comes to desk or table mounting solutions. There is a difference though between a good product and a very good premium product. The Monster Tech mounts have absolutely been the slickest, most functional, sturdiest desk mount that I've ever used to date. It has the highest level of polish from the unboxing experience all the way down to daily driving the thing. I know it costs potentially as much as your stick that you're mounting to it, but if you're looking for the best of the best, this is it. Couple that quality with the incredible individual care and attention that the folks over at Monster Tech will give you, it becomes easy to see why Monster Tech has carved out its reputation globally as the best outfitter for sim mounting hardware money can buy. Thanks for watching you guys. Your likes and subs help the channel out a ton. If you have any questions that I didn't answer, leave them in the comment section below and I will get to them as quickly as I can. We've got more videos coming your way soon, so check back often to see what we got cooking over here at the Snake Eater Company. Later guys.